All right, what's happening, y'all? Um, again, you're watching Average is Failure. Just some thoughts that were on my mind. So, uh, as you all know, you've been paying attention to uh, politics probably for the past 20 years, uh, maybe. Um, and anybody who has been paying attention, I think, can agree to an extent, even if uh, we may not have the same thoughts as far as what should happen as far as politics and government. Um, I think that there are some aspects of it that we might agree on. And as I was thinking about, I, I, I don't know, the thought just crossed my mind, like a lot of people wait for government to move before they actually take action, right? A lot of, or, or let me put it this way, uh, a lot of people remain inactive because they're waiting for the government to tell them what the right thing to do is. And we, you can't do that anymore. Uh, the longer I live, the more I realize the, the importance that the everyday person, us, we the people, um, on the ground level uh, begin to conduct ourselves in such a way that we know is the right thing to do um, and not wait for legislation to tell us what the right thing to do is. Um, and the reason being uh, for is for a number of reasons. So, um, and, and mind you, I'm not, you know, as we have, as I have this discussion, I'm not trying to, I'm not saying that I have uh, numbers to back any of this up or what have you. Um, but what I am saying is just coming from my observation of uh, of the world, all right? From from what I've experienced in my life, from the stories, um, and what I hear about from the lives of other people. Um, you know, this is just an observation. These are just observations that I've had. And for one, I think most of us can agree that uh, government is slow. And almost any time, it doesn't have to be government, it can even be a, a business, uh, it can even be a, uh, a social organization or a religious organization. Uh, but one of the things that tends to happen is as an organization of any kind gets bigger, it begins to move slower. Um, there are a lot more channels um, that you have to go through in order to make the simplest of decisions. And so, um, instead of being nimble, instead of being able to keep up with what's going on in the times, uh, you often find that organizations are lagging behind the times, all right? And why that's important is because we see what's going on in our world today. We see what's going on in our country, for those of you who are in the United States today, and many of you in other countries. Um, and, and especially for those of us who are black, you know, I, I'm, I'm black, so it's easier for me to speak from a black context. But for those of us who are black, we know the struggle that we've been through for hundreds of years. OK, and here's the challenge. While we do lobby and while we have seen how po politics and government can have a good impact or an impact in a positive direction. Imagine that it's still taken us hundreds of years to get to this point. <laughs> All right. Um, and so how long do we wait on policies to dictate to, to us what, how we should conduct ourselves? And the same thing goes for other people um, who are unhappy with certain things in our country. How long do you wait, you know, whether you're white, black, uh, you know, Asian or what have you, uh, how long do you wait for your government um, to tell you what to do that's right? So for instance, there are many people who, or, 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 uh, who are not black um, or who are not necessarily minorities who agree with, um, who agree that, let me say, that uh, many people groups in the United States have been experiencing injustices of all sorts, okay? So th the challenge is sometimes the only thing that happens is uh, these individuals might lobby a government or these individuals might... Um, go on marches or these individuals um, you know might might call up their congressmen etc what have you right and all of those things are good but when will we get to the point where these individuals say you know what forget waiting on them to make the change forget waiting on a policy to make the change how can I take 
uh, use my resources, use my connections and the relationships I have and begin building bridges with those who have been treated unfairly in this nation for hundreds of years. All right. How, how can and, and it, I'm not just talking about just merely social issues. Right. Um, though there may be loopholes in the law. How do we get, how can we get to a point where we say, you know what, just because there's a loophole in our laws and our systems doesn't mean that I'm going to milk that loophole for, for everything that, it, that I can get out of it, right? To, to the detriment, to the detriment of those who are unable or who don't have the advantage that I have, right? To, to the detriment of the people who can't afford they, they're not in position to even take advantage of those loopholes and my loop the loophole that I have allows me to take 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 and never have to actually give back except in a nominal kind of way right and I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because unless we get to this point in our nation where we no longer are looking for um, loopholes to see how we can get all we can and how we can not uh, have to treat our brother or our sister right, we will never, we will never see how great this country could be. We will never see equality uh, for all people groups, all right? Um, and so, my, I, so, so, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even mean to stay on that for so long, you know, but, but I just wanted to just talk about that real quick, like the government moves slow. Um, and so you can't wait for a government to act like you have to know, OK, what's the right thing for me to do? No, in my heart, what would be the right thing for me to do if I say that um, if I say that all people, uh, uh, you know, are, are like the Constitution says or whatever document it is, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Maybe it was the Declaration of Independence, you know, that uh, all men were created equal and there are certain inalienable rights that. Uh, inalienable rights that all men deserve. If I do believe that, then how should I conduct myself toward my fellow man? How should I handle my finances? How do I, you, you know, y'all get the point, man. Y'all get the point. So uh, my admonishment to you is do what you know is right by your fellow man. Do what you know is right if you say that you love your neighbor. Do what you know is right. And don't wait for the government to have to tell you. Another reason why is because we also know that governments, not everybody in the government does have your best interest in mind, right? And we hope that many people do, but quite frankly, we know that many people don't. Um, and so sometimes, you, you know, we give people the benefit of the doubt in hoping that they're making the right decisions on Capitol Hill uh, for the good of the citizens of this country. Uh, but quite frankly, we know that there are some people who have more of an interest of just a few of the people of this country in mind. We also know that there are some people who only care about what the bottom line is financially for their particular business and, um, you know, um, yeah, for their particular business or organization. Um, and so you can't wait for those people to make the right decision. Those people will never make the right decision. And even if they do make the right decision, it, <coughs> it'll often be for the wrong reasons. And usually when it's done for the wrong reasons, there's something in there um, that's going to pop up at some point um, that exposes itself as being detrimental, right, to the good of the people. Um, so, um, so, one, government is slow. One, some people, not all people, there, but there are some people in government that are... Uh, do not have your best interest in mind. Um, and then truthfully, th this is my final point, is that most most of the time, government has the good of a mass um, population in mind. And rarely does that trickle down to the individual, right? So what I mean by that is Oftentimes, government is based merely on the analytics of how good does this look on paper, right? So we go about, and, and, and there's, some, there's some benefits to this, right? So there, there is some, something to learn from this, 
But usually when, when we talk about a government, a government is interested in doing surveys and polls to see, okay, what, what does this look like? What do we believe this looks like across the board? In a broad stroke, does the country look good on paper? So in a broad stroke, does the country look like um, it's doing well as far as its gross domestic product on paper? Does the country look good as far as ha has it has it reduced its debt on paper? Has the um, how has the income of the country increased? Right. The thing that's challenging though is that oftentimes that broad stroke won't take into account how many people are actually experiencing the benefit of. Um, you know the, the the positive direction of the country, right? So to speak, if we can call it positive. So sometimes it won't account for the fact that, um, for the fact that yes, the country might be doing better financially, but only ten, only one to ten percent of the population has seen this benefit, whereas uh, ninety to ninety-nine percent of the population is still either where they were in the past, or maybe even worse off than where. Um, they were projected to be, um, you know, so, so sometimes government doesn't take that into consideration. Um, and so these are things to think about. So again, you can't wait for the government to tell you what the right thing is to do, what the right moves are to make this. And by no means am I saying to be cynical. Um, there are benefits to the government. There will always be a benefit, but there are aspects of it that we are going to have to say, you know what, it's up to us to do what we know is right because the government will always be too far behind in these areas to catch up, all right? It's still, it's 400 years um, later and, you know, we're still dealing with these social issues that we would have thought would have been cleared up by now, all right? So, anyway, I'll leave it at that. It's been kind of a long video, longer than I expected. Again, average is failure. Let's not be average. We're looking to unleash that dynamite power this year, man. Um, and part of that is going to be uh, taking a look at these social issues also and seeing how do we have an impact on it and what can we do to impact it for the better. All right, that's enough for me. This is Vaughn. I'm out of there. Peace.